Okay, so here are several examples of drawing Lewis structures. So if you want to pause and copy them, you can do that now, and then we're going to work through them. You have three scenarios. Some of the structures are going to work out evenly, which won't require any further work. Some of the structures are not going to have enough valence electrons, so we're going to have to make put more. And then some structures are going to have too many electrons, requiring less electrons and more bonds. So we're going to start with ammonium, NH4 plus 1. And recall that the first step is to go to your periodic table and add up the number of valence. Nitrogen has five valence plus hydrogen has one times four hydrogens. And this negative one means we're going to subtract an electron from our total. So when we add these together, we get eight electrons. And so when we draw our structure, that's how many, how many we want to have as our final amount. Now we're going to draw the skeleton structure. So that's step two, the skeleton structure. Remember, you can never put hydrogen or fluorine in the center. So our center element is going to be nitrogen. And our nitrogen is going to be surrounded by four hydrogens. One, two, three, four. The four hydrogens is because we have one nitrogen and four hydrogens. Now, I'm going to add dots until all atoms have eight valence. So that's my step three. Go back and put this. This was my step two. And this was my step one. Okay? So I need to check each atom to make sure they have eight valence electrons around them. So I'll start with my center. Always start with the center. Nitrogen has two, four, six, eight. So it's good. It doesn't need any dots. And hydrogen never gets any dots because it can only have a maximum of two electrons. And each of these hydrogens has two electrons maximum. So now that I have counted and each atom has its octet or duet, I'm going to count my total. So this step is done. And now I'm going to count the total. So when I add, my total number of electrons is going to be two, four, six, eight. Because my total number of electrons matches my number of valence, then this is finished. CCL4, step one, add up your valence. Carbon has four plus chlorine has seven times four makes 32 electrons. Next, I'm going to make my skeleton structure. Carbon is going to go in the center because it's the least electronegative element and it's surrounded by four chlorines. The third step is going to be to add my dots. Start on the center. Carbon has two, four, six, eight. I do not need to add dots to carbon. Each chlorine, however, only has two. So they'll each need dots. So that's two, four, six, and the bond makes eight. And I'll do this for each of the other chlorines. So now each chlorine has eight electrons around it. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Eight and eight. Everyone has an octet. Step four states to check your total. And so when I count my total, I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. Since my total matches my valence, then this one is finished. Realize that each of these bonds, if you don't recall, represents two electrons total for when you count them. Okay, NH3. Step one, add up your valence. Five plus one times three is going to equal eight electrons. Step two, draw your skeleton structure. Never put hydrogen in the center. 
So it's going to be nitrogen with three hydrogens around it. Step three is going to be to add the dots. And this time, when we start on the center atom, which is what you should always do, nitrogen only has two, four, six. I need one more pair of dots to make eight around the center. Because I have a pair on the center, I'm going to put a bubble kind of like this around it. And this is going to signify that I have what's called a loon pair on the center. We only do this with pairs on the center atom, not around the other atoms around the side. And then of course each hydrogen has a duet, so they're finished. I need to check my total. And if I add all the electrons around the total structure, I have two here, four, six, eight. And because I have my eight electrons and that matches this amount right here, that means I'm finished. The center, I like to also call that an alien head because it kind of looks like an alien. So we have one alien head on, alien head on this structure. Okay, PCL6 with a negative one charge. First, we're going to add the valence. Phosphorus has five plus seven for chlorine times six chlorine atoms plus one for the charge. And that's going to give me a total of 48 electrons. Let's see what we have with this particular scenario. Now we're going to draw the skeleton structure and phosphorus goes in the middle. It's surrounded by six chlorines. So this is how I tend to like to draw six. I kind of make a star and I put all chlorines around it. And now I'm on to my next step, which is step three. I got to add my dots. Each chlorine atom needs six dots added to it. the dots kind of like in pairs. Notice phosphorus already has a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Remember it can exceed the octet rule so it's okay that it has more than 8. Now let's check our total number of valence and so I'll count my bonds first and we said 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. So because I have 48 electrons total, which matches this, the structure is finished. In our next videos, because I'm going to go ahead and stop here, there is a third video. And in the next video, you're going to see a few examples where it doesn't end up working out evenly. We might end up with not enough electrons or too many. So if you'd like to review this video, all the ones we've done so far all worked out evenly.